This video is sponsored by Friendly TV. With over 40 channels, many of them showing your favorite classic TV shows, Friendly TV is the low-cost streaming service for those of us who remember when television was truly special. I've added a link to Friendly TV in the description section of this video. When you use it to try it out free for 7 days, you will also be supporting this channel. Hey everyone, pop culture historian Dave Sundstrom here. I am absolutely sure that most of you remember the classic sitcom Three's Company. But there are probably a few of you out there that do not remember the spin-off called Three's a Crowd, which also featured John Ritter as Jack Tripper. And the reason that you probably don't remember it is that Three's a Crowd fizzled out after just one season. Back then, I have to admit that I was surprised when ABC chose to cancel the show. However, with a few decades behind the decision, I can now say that I understand why it didn't last. So with all that said, let's take a look at my top 5 reasons why Three's a Crowd couldn't capture the same kind of comedic magic as its predecessor, Three's Company. The first reason is that at the heart of Three's Company, there was this unconventional, for its time, living situation. He had a single man pretending to be gay so that he could live with two women. Episode after episode, this dynamic fueled hilarious misunderstandings and sexual tension. Three's a Crowd removed that key ingredient. Instead, Jack and Vicky were simply a cohabitating couple. And although living together without being married was still seen by some as scandalous, it lacked that same comedic spark. As I go through this presentation today, please understand that I'm not trying to take anything away from Mary Cataret. Pictured here on the far right participating in one of those super fun Battle of the Network star specials, I truly believe that she did the very best that she could with the material that she was given. However, that does take me to reason number two. While John Ritter's comedic brilliance is undeniable, the magic that he shared with Joyce DeWitt and Suzanne Somers in Three's Company simply could not be replicated with Mary in Three's A Crowd. Their on-screen chemistry felt a bit forced compared to the natural banter of the original trio. I truly believe the fault for this decision belonged to the production team and to the casting director who chose to exclude all of the other Three's Company cast members from the new show with the sole exception of one appearance by Richard Klein as Jack's best friend Larry Dallas. The third reason for the show's failure is that Three's a Crowd leaned too heavily toward physical humor and slapstick. While John Ritter excelled at physical comedy, it simply wasn't enough to carry the show. Prior to the debut of Three's a Crowd, John promised that the show would be more of a sophisticated romantic comedy. However, the witty dialogue and clever situations that had made Three's Company laugh out loud funny, well, they were missing. Hey, I've got two more big reasons why Three's a Crowd was destined to fail. But first, let me give you a taste of what I have in store for all of you at the end of this video. Tuesday, Vicky's girlfriend is alone with Jack. I'm ready for bed. Three's a Crowd. <laughs> then Tony has to shape up. I want you to come work for me. Or ship out. Right. Who's the boss? All starting at 8, 7 central. Tomorrow. I have got another Three's a Crowd promo, plus some of my favorite television commercials from 1984 waiting for you at the end of this video. But hang on, let me share the final two reasons why Three's a Crowd flopped. The next reason was actually a problem that Three's Company faced as well. You see, just like Three's Company, Three's a Crowd aired opposite the highly rated A-Team on NBC. This tough competition made it difficult for the new show to find a foothold in the ratings. Even a familiar face like John Ritter couldn't compete with a hit TV show that included Mr. T. And the fact that the show's writers thought that topics such as impotence would serve as a catalyst for on-screen hilarity, well, that didn't help things much either. The final reason for the show's cancellation turned out to be John Ritter himself. Apparently, John refused to return for a second season unless ABC would guarantee a full season order. With low ratings and a potentially disgruntled star, the network would only guarantee 13 weeks. And when John expressed his hesitation, well, ABC simply chose to pull the plug. 
Four decades later, Three's a Crowd serves as a reminder that replicating a successful television show isn't always easy. While it had the benefit of a beloved franchise and a very talented star, the show lacked many of the core elements that made its predecessor a true classic. Alright, now it's time for that other promo and a few of my favorite commercials from 1984. Tuesday. Lieutenant Park! It's Jack's chance to put Vicky's father behind bars. This is ridiculous. Officer. Oh, Three is a crowd. And how will Tony and Angela handle a night alone? We can sleep in in the morning. Who's the boss? Have some more wine. Then at 9, 8 Central, the laughter continues when Robert Guillaume and Emmanuel Lewis host the all-new World's Funniest Commercial Goose. All starting at 8, 7 Central. Tuesday. <laughs> Real back. We give you the power. Panasonic introduces a new lightweight video system that's so automatic, it works by itself. The camera focuses by itself. It even records in low light all by itself. This Panasonic VHS recorder connects almost by itself and plays back with special effects. This Panasonic through your stereo creates hi-fi sound that stands out by itself. Panasonic, just slightly ahead of our time. Remember when the most wanted gift was electric trains with switches? An erector set with a motor. A chemistry set with a Bunsen burner. Now it's computers with disk drives and printers. Isn't it wonderful you can give a computer as powerful as the Commodore 64? For a price as low as the Commodore 64? Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Chip. So what do you think? Did Three's a Crowd miss the mark? I'm re-watching the series right now on Tubi, and even with all of its flaws, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that little thumbs up button. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.